Hey everybody, it's your girl Inspo. Um, I decided to hop on really quick and do a short video talking about um, false prophets and false prophetess that are pretty much rising up in these last and evil days. Um, I just felt led to do like a little short video really quick and I plan on doing another video regarding this like maybe later on tonight um i'll have to see but that's the plan okay and also um my last video that i have posted about the Nicki minaj vaccine post it got removed from youtube they removed it i guess because the information that i was saying they didn't like it was nothing but facts so they had removed it so i have to pretty much watch what i say on youtube from now on but let me get into this video really quick y'all but the holy spirit had um showed me something about this this particular lady i'm not going to say her name just yet because um i feel like i need to fast and go into prayer cover myself in prayer before i even start naming names to protect myself from you know evil spirits and the enemy but um there's this particular young lady that i used to follow on facebook okay um she's a beautiful lady beautiful woman um you can tell that she's been through a lot of you know situations with men i can relate in that area because i myself have been through a whole lot of pain and stuff with men you know so i decided to follow her because she was very intriguing her post on social media was very you know influential you know and so as i started watching her um live videos on facebook at first i really didn't notice anything about her that seemed to be off but i had watched this particular um i seen her i seen her post a particular picture and her caption was she had made a cake and her caption said um the devil's cake and i was just like wait a minute did she just say in her caption that that was the devil's cake and she called herself a prophetess and i was just like um yeah let me let me unfollow her you know but before i even unfollowed her she had um posted a, a video and I guess somebody else had exposed her or was calling her out calling her a witch and all this stuff like that and she got on live and she had clapped back and she started calling this person names and me I'm just like well first of all if you call yourself a prophetess you should not clap back like that there is a way that we do that to clap back our, at our people that are speaking against us or who are enemies we clap back in prayer okay we don't clap back on social media we don't make comments on social media about our enemies we just pray for them because when we pray we know god gonna react okay um me personally like i said i have issues in that area myself but now i'm saying the only way to clap back on our enemies is simply through prayer we don't clap back by beating them up we don't clap back by putting ourselves at risk of being in jail because we know if we clap back on our enemies we're going to end up in jail right right so she did it in a fleshly way okay she pretty much clapped back made a live video calling this person all types of stuff you know um in defense of what the lady said about her calling her a witch okay and so i'm sitting here watching her live video i'm just like as a woman of god or as a man of god you should not clap back that way that is ungodly that is not god's will for us to do okay so i'm just sitting here watching her video and then she's you know like i said she's calling this person all types of names talking about this lady's shape everything and i'm just like oh she's a false prophet she is simply deceiving god's people you know and i also noticed in her live videos that 
she'll like pretty much you know oh i have a prophetic word for you guys today and i'm just sitting there like um no you don't you have a word from the enemy from the devil okay because you have to realize that these false prophets they have so much influence on them that it'll cause people god's people to be deceived okay that's why god tells us to watch and pray because they're rising up they're rising up in these last days and that is why god is telling us people his people to rise up and pray to watch and pray because these false prophets they are they are rising up y'all like without shame without you know fear they're like boldly you know operating in their jezebel spirit or operating under the spirit of witchcraft or just simply deceiving god's people you know because they have that much power or influence on them you know so she also was like pretty much manipulating god's people as well i watched a video of hers and she was like pretty much like she just barely got on social media on live video on facebook and so she was pretty much like oh i'm gonna just play some worship music and before you know um i start before i start bringing a word that i have i'm gonna just start playing worship music and i want you guys to tag five more people i guess her numbers on live were like very low so she was basically manipulating god's people by simply saying i'm gonna play worship music until you guys share my video tag my video or tag you know tag other people in video i'm gonna just play some worship music manipulating god's people in that sense because her numbers were low and she kept saying like oh i don't care about the numbers not about me no you're lying she lied right out of her mouth by saying she didn't care about the numbers but she was waiting for those numbers to go up and if you really are a child of god you really don't care about numbers you care about all you care about is simply getting god's word out spreading the gospel of jesus christ okay and she was just basically just concerned about her numbers you know um and also i noticed about this particular lady is that she called herself a prophetess right but she's on social media half naked showing her body i mean when you, if you like i said once god gives me the okay to expose her name like i said i have to cover myself in prayer and and fasting because the type of spirit that she possess or spirits that she possess are strong and i don't want to you feel me i have to cover myself in prayer but she had posted a picture on facebook and she was just like half naked like just showing her body and you know she has men on there and that right there will cause the spirit of lust to rise up because you know how men are that's their nature you know and so she knew exactly what she was doing and some people i know some people even commented and they were exposing her they was like no you're operating under the spirit of jezebel by doing what you're doing because you call yourself a prophetess but what prophetess in their right mind is going to pose like that on social media show off their body half naked what prophetess do you know that's going to do that i never seen a prophetess do that on facebook on social media and you over here prophesying to god's people and saying that you have a prophetic word from god but you are operating out of the spirit of jezebel a lustful spirit now don't get me wrong I'm not perfect myself. God is still working on me. But this is what God showed me. This is what God exposed, you know, to me. Okay? This is what God showed me regarding her. And I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not judging nobody. But I'm exposing what God wants me to expose. And I had to come out and say it because people are really deceived by her. You know? And I just I just noticed that people were, like, coming against um the people that were exposing her on her uh, on her account and they were saying that oh sh you're just hating on her you're just hating and i'm just like nobody's hating on her we're, we're exposing the devil you feel me like people will take it as we're hating on somebody 
but it's not even that it's just we're exposing what she's doing is wrong because she's calling herself a prophetess but she's half naked on social media so everybody was coming against those who were saying that she was operating on the Jezebel spirit by saying that they were haters but that right there just shows that they are deceived they are deceived by her okay and i noticed that when people have a Jezebel spirit they have so much their their plan is to be in control they have that much control um over these people okay when you op when a person operates over it under a jezebel spirit they they want that much control they want that much power they want to feel like they are in control okay and so she i noticed with her she's very manipulative too very manipulative um it just it just amazes me how people call themselves a man or woman of god but they're not using wisdom they're not using knowledge they're simply going off of her big words because also i read somewhere in the bible where god said that people will be deceived by false prophets and stuff like that and they will be deceived by the big words that they use when they are preaching and i noticed this lady oh my goodness she uses big words left to right i would have to when i used to watch her videos i would have to pause her video go on google and look up the big word that she used because i didn't know what that word meant that's how bad she used or that's how often she uses big words and god i remember reading in the bible like years ago when god was saying that people will be deceived by the big words they use like and i noticed that she uses big words when she's sending out a word of god or whatever she's using big words and i'm just like no this lady is a false prophet a false prophetess you know and i just like i said once god gave me the okay to put her name out there i'm gonna put her name out there but right now i have to cover myself in prayer you know and it's just it's just i'm just here to tell you guys all my subscribers to please like be on guard in these last and evil days we are in the we are living in the last days okay and god wants me to tell you guys today to watch and pray because people are being deceived these false prophets are out here to deceive us god's people and we have to be on guard simply through prayer and fasting and reading the word of god you feel me because you have to know the word of god for yourself you have to really be on watch because these false prophets and false prophetess are leading god's people straight to hell because god's people are not praying like they should they are not being on watch like they should and they're being deceived and it's just like it's it's crazy because people are really just following this lady like following her and i'm just like y'all call yourself god's people or woman men of god and y'all don't see what she is doing and there are times when she'll like um manipulate god's people by giving them money and in return they cash up her money back manipulation manipulation that is the spirit of jezebel okay so i just I just wanted to hop on here and say, you know, like I said, say in the word of God, pray, be watchful, okay? Matthew 24 and 24 talks about these false prophets and prophetess that are rising up in these last and evil days that we are in now. We are in the last days, okay, y'all? So we need to really step our game up you know like i always tell you guys i'm not perfect myself but i know when god is showing me something i know when god is speaking to me i know when the holy spirit is guiding me you know so i just out of obedience i had to come on here and do a video but later on i plan on doing a whole video with the scriptures you know being read the bible being you know right there because right now i'm at work so i can't i don't have my bible i can't read while i'm at work you know because i have to work i have to watch you know the area so i can't 
do my Bible study here right now, but I can do it later at home, you know. So um, maybe later on I will hop on and do a video, you know, um, maybe at home. If not tonight, maybe another day. But I love you guys. Thank you to all my uh, subscribers. If you like this video, please comment and share um, and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can get notifications when I hop on and do another video. But that's all I have to say for you guys today. Again, one more time. I'm saying this one more time before I go. Please watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Because we are in the last days. Okay? We are in the last days. And the devil was busy deceiving God's people. Simply by a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. You know, but one way that the devil is deceiving God's people is through these false prophets and false prophetesses that claim they are hearing from God, but they're operating out of a spirit of witchcraft. Be woke. Stay woke, you guys. I love you guys.